Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Ammunition and ordnance production is a crucial aspect of the defense industry. Involving the manufacturing of munitions used in firearms, artillery, and military equipment. Its history spans centuries, evolving from simple projectiles to sophisticated cartridges and munitions seen today. Modern production processes are carried out in specialized facilities with advanced machinery and stringent quality control measures. Skilled engineers, technicians, and workers collaborate in ammunition production, meeting demanding schedules. This shows that ammunition and ordnance production remain indispensable pillars of national defense. For over a century, Hellenic Defense Systems has been at the forefront of designing, developing, manufacturing, and trading NATO-type guns, weapon systems, and ammunition. At their cutting edge, Hymetus plant, advanced technology like the 2,000-ton Yumuko hot forging press empowers the production of high-caliber ammunition. This state-of-the-art press allows them to forge 155-millimeter shells, the backbone of heavy artillery systems known for their devastating impact on the battlefield. As a powerhouse in the ammunition industry, Rheinmetall Donnell Munition Joint Venture is a global leader in designing, developing, and manufacturing a diverse range of munitions. From large and medium caliber ammunition families, and showcasing cutting-edge technology in the field of artillery, mortar, and infantry systems. The company delivers excellence in every product. In an extraordinary test fire event in South Africa, they set three new world records that astonished the industry. Ammunition renovation is also a main operation for military ordnance, as it transforms aged or surplus munitions into reliable assets fit for modern missions. At facilities like the Bluegrass Army Depot, Skilled technicians employ advanced techniques to revitalize 155mm projectiles with renewed reliability and prepare for future deployment. Ammunition production exercises stand as crucial catalysts propelling the evolution of weaponry and equipment to new heights. By simulating real-world conditions, these exercises subject ammunition to rigorous testing, scrutinizing its performance and quality under diverse scenarios. Okay. 
CAPEX stands for Combat Ammunition Production Exercise, and it goes on for four days. We're out here trying to show that when it comes to wartime, we can build the bombs and get ready to go at a moment's notice. Within the intricate mosaic of multifaceted military roles, each military occupational specialty MOS serves a distinct purpose, contributing to the seamless functioning of the armed forces. The 89A specialist takes on the responsibility of managing ammunition stockpiles a task integral to operational readiness. They meticulously record, monitor, and manage ammunition inventory, ensuring accuracy, security, and accountability. Using advanced data systems, these specialists optimize ammunition distribution and provide crucial insights for decision making. Delving into the realm of aerial warfare, the formidable B-1B Lancer Strategic Bomber with supersonic capabilities is the aerial platform that unleashes the potential of the quick strike mines. With its variants, Mark 62, Mark 63, and Mark 65, such potent aircraft mines are designed to engage both surface and subsurface targets. Their weight can vary from 500 to 2,000 pounds, using either a bomb body or a thin-walled case. The loading process is facilitated by a specialized tool, the BL Weapon Loader, a diesel-powered vehicle meticulously designed to transport and load stores, including the quick-strike mines, onto the aircraft. It has a low profile and high maneuverability due to the combined front and rear steering system, providing the stability necessary to handle hazardous cargo. With safety features such as a seat switch that prevents vehicle operation when the driver is not seated, and an emergency manual hydraulic system to operate the work table lift and fail-safe brakes should a hydraulic malfunction occur. Operated by highly trained personnel, the loading process must be handled at any possible conditions. A marvel of modern aviation engineering that combines innovation and versatility to redefine the possibilities of aerial combat is what characterizes the B-1 Lancer. In the heat of combat, the B-1B aft wing sweep configurations come into play, maximizing its maneuverability during both high subsonic and supersonic flight. And a GPS-aided inertial navigation system offers unparalleled precision, enabling air crews to navigate without relying on ground-based aids while engaging targets 
with unmatched accuracy. Training exercises are the crucible where the B-1B Lancer's potential is fully unleashed. Refining the skills of air crews and showcasing the aircraft's versatility. These exercises provide air crews with real-world scenarios, enabling them to hone their tactical expertise, navigation, and target engagement. BTF is basically the 37th coming out to support PACOM and its mission to show that the B-1 can still employ anywhere, anytime in support of our allies and show our adversaries that we're still capable of anything. It just shows how versatile the B-1 still is and how lethal it's still capable of being. The B-1B's participation in the Bomber Task Force further underscores its significance. It showcases the full spectrum of its capabilities in joint operations. Naval Ordnance encompasses a spectrum of weaponry and ammunition from cannons and torpedoes to missiles and naval mines. The Naval Ordnance Management Policy takes center stage as a comprehensive framework that governs the entire life cycle of Naval Ordnance. Diving deeper into the heart of naval ordnance operations, we unveil the intricate process of constructing weapons, a vital endeavor conducted within the weapons magazine of the aircraft carrier USS George H.W. Bush. The skilled hands and highly trained naval personnel assemble the components of munitions, piecing together the intricate puzzle of precision weaponry. Transportation of supplies and its logistics are fundamental for the Navy ordnance operations. requiring advanced and convenient systems that reduce working times and increase efficiency. The hangar bay of the USS Gerald R. Ford buzzes with activity as advanced weapons elevators come to life. These cutting-edge systems streamline the transportation of ammunition and supplies, accelerating the flow of critical resources. A team of skilled personnel coordinates meticulously as the elevator effortlessly moves ordnance between decks. Thus, as the USS Gerald R. Ford operates in dynamic environments, the advanced weapons elevator emerges as a critical component. The Army's precision-driven ammunition production and renovation underscore their meticulous attention to detail.
Navy personnel harness advanced systems, seamlessly transporting ordnance to secure maritime domains. And the Air Force's technical finesse in aircraft armament ensures aerial supremacy. Ultimately, their collaboration fortifies national security, safeguarding nations, and preserving peace. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.